Today we're going to be breaking down Robert Greene's book, Art of Seduction, and how exactly can we use this book in our lives. Join me as I unravel the art of mystery, persuasion, and desire. The first thing you need to do is understand the seductive and feminine archetypes. It is known that the siren is one of the most desirable archetypes out there. The siren seduces you with her mystery and her charm. She allures you into her irresistible orbit. The rake is bold and confident. She allures you with her charisma and her charm. The ideal lover is romantic and so attentive to the partner's needs. She creates a powerful sense of enchantment and desire. The dandy is elegant and stylish. She captivates you with her sophisticated look. The natural is authentic and charismatic, alluring you with her natural beauty. She is naturally beautiful and effortlessly desirable. The coquette has a signature style and she is so elegant and fancy. The coquette can also be very mysterious and flirtatious. The charmer is very witty and charismatic and knows exactly how to make her words work for her. The seducer can be quite cunning and manipulative when it comes to getting what she wants. The star is radiant and captivating. She desires all the eyes to be on her. The saint is innocent and pure and captivates you with her goodness and charm. She inspires devotion and admiration with everyone around her. At the heart of seduction lies charisma and presence. You cannot be seductive if you are not present and in this moment right here. Asking yourself, how can I have more fun right now? How can I do something for the other person to make them feel special in this moment? If you are not in the present moment and your mind is wandering somewhere else, you cannot truly seduce somebody because you need to be in this exact moment, giving the person your undivided attention and making sure that they feel completely seen and heard. Nobody is seduced by somebody who's thinking about something else or in another planet because they feel like you don't respect them. Whether it's through captivating storytelling or just simply being in the present moment, you need to be able to feel the room, feel the presence of the other person in front of you. Communication is the cornerstone of seduction, allowing you to weave a web of intrigue and desire with your words alone. Whether through subtle innuendo, playful banter and intoxicating conversation, the seductive person truly knows how to use her words. You need to use subtle gestures and compliments to make the other person know that you are interested. You need to be focused on the present moment and actively listening to what the other person has to say. Because people can feel when you're not in the present moment and this is the biggest turn off to other people. Cultivate an emotional connection. Nobody truly is seduced by somebody who doesn't feel the emotional connection. And the way you can create emotional connection is bonding through understanding with your vulnerabilities and your insecurities, as well as sharing life experiences and doing things together. You need to cultivate mystery because this will fuel curiosity and desire to the person you like. You need to be able to create a sense of anticipation and fascination with the person that you adore. Share just enough so the person feels connected to you, but not everything. So they feel the sense and this air of mystery when it comes to how they feel about you. You need to keep others guessing with spontaneous action and surprise them with the unexpected. Seduction is a delicate dance between patience and persistence. Because if you are not patient, the other person can truly be turned off with this overload of affection when you don't truly know the person. So it is so essential to take your time and actually go slower than you think. You need to know when it is essential to pull back and give the other person space for them to think about you, for them to wonder about you. 
flexibility and adaptability is the traits of a skilled seducer. You need to learn how to adapt to different life scenarios and different personalities. The ability to adapt allows you to truly take in the different experiences of other people. You need to be empathetic and put yourself in the shoes of other people, understanding their perspective. Tailor your approach accordingly to their preferences and needs. Be versatile with your communication, adjusting your tone when needed. You need to understand that seduction begins with perception. Everything we know to like about this world is because of our perception and our perspective. So you may not be attracted to a certain person and another person may see that person as their dream woman. Everybody has a different idea of what is attractive to them and this is why seduction is truly about perception. You need to understand the power of body language and how to use your eye contact, body languages and social gestures to communicate how exactly do you feel. Understand that your vocal tonality plays a huge role in how you come across to other people. Don't be afraid to change up your tone when necessary and pay attention to the pitch, the sound and how exactly you come across to the other person. Tune in to the energy and vibe of the interaction. Create a visual appeal by your surroundings, by what you wear, by your environment and your gestures. You need to cultivate an air of calmness, of relaxation, of excitement. Surround yourself with beauty and elegance because no matter how seductive you are, if you're standing next to a trash can, you are not going to seem like the most seductive and charming person because of your surroundings. To harness the power of touch, to create more intimacy and connection with the person you adore. Use gentle touches and lingering contact to ensure the physical contact with you is magnetic. Seduction is a dance between power and being able to surrender. When you learn to create this dynamic in your relationships, you can truly create the best type of tension allowing you to, to get so excited to be around that other person. Be bold in your pursuit and don't be afraid to communicate what you like and desire yourself. If you enjoyed this video by me explaining the odds of seduction by Robert Greene, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and let me know which female seductive archetype are you. Are you the rake? Are you the siren? Are you the charmer?